Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at cleaning the auxiliary master modules. Um, so from what I can tell, these are the dirtiest parts of the console so far. They're right above the fans in the master section, so any bit of dirt that's going around is going in here. So at the bottom of the module here, um, you can tell that, well, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but there's there's a great deal of dust on a lot of these parts and pieces in here. Um, the other thing that's a little challenging about this module is it's a, um, it's a double stack module, uh, meaning that, um, let's see if I can do this without making it too shaky. There are, there are two boards that are separated by these little standoffs right here. Um, so in order to get the faders out, uh, specifically this fader right here. Um, you kind of have to disassemble it a little bit just to get it out. So um, instead of boring you with, with all of this uh, in, in super real time doing it all, I figured I would just, uh, moving forward, just show you how I do one module um, so you don't have to watch it all. But um, all right, let's, uh, we'll take this thing apart and uh, show you how it works. Okay, so the first step, uh, like most things, is I like to start with a little espresso cup. Um, so to take this module apart, you're going to need a T10 uh, Torx screwdriver and a little posi drive screwdriver. So uh, to get things started, we're going to stand the module up like this, and uh, we're going to pop our fader caps off. And I've just got um, a cup of warm, soapy uh, water that I've been dropping these in, and then I've been uh, taking them to the sink and then using a detail brush like this, just scrubbing everything individually. But this is just hot, soapy water with a, with a lot of soap in it just to get it to soak. Um, so as far as taking the module apart, um, what I like to do is we're just going to loosen. So these are, the, these are the fader screws. These hold the faders in. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to loosen these, not take them out, but just, just loosen them. And they're, you know, maybe maybe a quarter of an inch screw. They're, they're pretty small, so just a couple of turns here will get them loose. Um, so you really only need to do the, these top faders because that's the only thing that's connecting the board. Um, and again, that's actually the, the faders aren't uh, connecting the board at all. It's just a little bit of a standard operating procedure. So um, what the board is connected to are these little steel pieces right here. There's one right here, and then there's another one um, right here. So what we will do on that is we'll loosen those screws just a little bit too. Again, using the using the same procedure just a little bit. Now, this is off camera. You can't see it, but I'm doing it to the top one too. Um, so to take this apart, we want to take these little... Oops, that one fell out. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we want to take these little standoffs off, um, out. Standoffs off. So to do that, we're just going to get our little parts container ready, and we're going to take our posi drive screwdriver, and I'm hold. There's a nut, and then there's a bolt. So I'm going to or the screw. So I'm going to take the screw out first. Okay. So there's a screw, a, little, a lock washer, and then on this side, there's the nut. Now we might need our pliers for this. That guy's really on there. All right. All right. So this is our nut. Lock washer. And then uh, here's the little standoff piece. Now this just keeps the two boards from mashing into each other. Um, so let's get the uh, the top one out now. Now we're going to loosen up our little keeper screws. Um, so now this module here will separate. It'll come right out. You know, when you pull this, you just want to be very careful. Um, there's a lot of these little, these little cables that can get caught. And most of these connectors... Um, are, are have little dabs of silicone. Now, when I pulled the matrix modules out, they didn't have the silicone, but on the Ox Master modules, they do. So 
Um, now that this top board is separated, I'm gonna pull the fader. And these are all the same, um, these are all the same screw. So I'm not keeping them terribly separated in my little parts cup because they're all the same. So we'll pull the top fader out just like this. And there's a bit of a lead on there, so you're uh, you're all right. You can they're designed to be serviced in this way. Okay, so we can pull this bottom fader out here very carefully. So to open these guys, there's uh, so on the K fader by Alps, uh, there's a little tab that's right here. And it's the other tab is, you know, there's a, a little hook part that goes in there. So what I like to do is just take a flathead screwdriver, just pry this up a little bit, just separate it, and then um, find the, the tab on the other side and just very gently pry it apart. Okay, so here is the inside of the Alps fader. So I'm gonna push this back bring this forward on the work surface and just make sure that you can still see that. Okay, so the, um, the faders travel on this little track and then on the center here, this is actually what makes contact on this center little ribbon in the, in the middle. Um, so what I like to do to start is uh, blast it with contact cleaner and work the fader back and forth a little bit. And that kind of makes the, the dust really, really pop out. Um, so I'm gonna do this in a way that's a bit more pleasing to the camera um, from what I normally do, just so you can kind of see an idea of how gross these things are. So I'm just gonna take a little cotton round and get in here and remove this dirt off of the rails and off of the bottom. So that's what's coming out of it. Um, usually uh, I like to blast it with contact cleaner and clean it with a brush just to get the big dust out, but it's not uh, visually as satisfying to watch. So it's just my detail brush that I've been using on most of this project, which has been just a real lifesaver um, in, in most of this. So I'm just, Focusing on the ends here, pulling up all the little dust bunnies um, that accumulate. Um, so I'll hit this again with my little cotton round. While I've got some moisture on here, I'm just gonna clean the... I'm gonna make note of this on the fader videos, but you know, one of the interesting things about faders are uh, when they're together, the only part that you that you see as a user on a console is just this little track right here, right where my right where my fingernail is. I'm going to use this to point. Just this little track right here. So when you blast this with contact cleaner or with lube or anything, you're really only getting that inside track. You're not getting uh, that little protective cover. Rather, you're not getting any of the inside track, um, which is why you have to actually take these apart to really do maintenance on them. So uh, I'm just going to take my spray air and just dry the uh, contact cleaner. That already feels a lot better. So just to make that feel even better, actually I didn't clean the inside of this, I'm getting that too. Um, just to make this feel a little bit better, I have this silicone oil that is dielectric. Um, so if you look at uh, Penny and Giles' uh, website, they do have in their maintenance bulletin a, uh, a silicone oil that they, that they sell. Um, but everything, there's not really a whole lot of information on that. So um, I just found a dielectric silicone oil and uh, I, I, I have to believe that that's kind of the same thing. So uh, I'm being pretty liberal with the oil. Um, I, had, I had talked to people that just said you just need a drop and I did the master and the monitor faders uh, with just a drop and it really uh, didn't, didn't do much. So I'm just, generally I like to just squirt a bunch of oil in there and then I just have one pad that I have reserved for oil just to clean up anything that's drippy um, just to get that going. So that's, that's already a million times better. 
Um, so to build the fader back again, all you have to do is just find the, um, the little cutout in this panel, hook it in there like that. Um, and then what I have found is these tabs don't really want to snap back together, but if you just give it a little tap with your screwdriver like this, uh, they'll go back together. Now the master and the monitor faders didn't have that issue, but on this one they, they did, on the aux faders, even though they're the same brand of fader, um, but hey. Um, so to load this back in, we're just gonna put the uh, stock in like that. And then we're gonna grab our screws. Okay, so that's in. Just one more double check just to make sure that it doesn't interfere. And uh, we'll, get the, uh, we'll get the other fader cleaned up. Okay, so now that we've got everything back together, um, I wanna get the, uh, the surface rust taken care of. So I've just got a little uh, squirt bottle of WD-40 here, which seems to be working very well. Um, I've been doing the other channels like this, so I just like to scrub it. The cool thing about WD-40 is it's a lubricant and a cleaner. Um, so this will take the, take the rust off. Like there's after the first swipe, it looks like that. So these things are, are pretty nasty. So the cool thing about WD-40 being a lubricant and a cleaner, um, is it will remove this surface rust and then also, um, give it a layer of, of protection so that it doesn't further, uh, corrode. Not, not that it will. I mean, it's going in my home that is heated and air conditioned, but there, that's what came off the, the side there. It's pretty gross, right? Um, so just doing the other side. We can, a little bit of lint there. So the first thing that I like to do now that um, this is all cleaned up is I like to grab just contact cleaner and spray this in my detail brush here. Just get it nice and wet in there and then just get all the buttons. Um, there's actually a little bit of mold bloom between these buttons, if you can believe that, which is pretty gnarly. Not on everything, but on a couple of these aux channels strips, it's pretty gross. So I just like to give it a good rundown of contact cleaner, you know, which is alcohol. So any of the surface, you know, bacteria or, you know, just nasty dirt, the uh, contact cleaner takes care of that just as far as uh, mitigation goes. Just one more time. You know, the cool thing is the contact cleaner actually takes care of a lot of the dirt on the buttons too. So far, um, I haven't had to uh, pull any of the buttons off, which I really don't want to do because it's tedious and read me being lazy. Um, so uh, on the channel strips, I'm just following the same protocol. We're using this um, um, car multi-purpose cleaner. So just a little bit on a little cotton round. You know, gently go over the buttons every place that you can. I mean, I'm doing this uh, kind of lazy uh, in the sense that I'm not pulling all the buttons. I'm not, uh, I'm just doing this very, very gently and very generically because the console's not that dirty. So that's what came off of it after the uh, contact cleaner wipe. I'll just take the other side of the pad, just going around it. Uh, this is a great reminder to make sure that if you have a console with a cover, you keep it covered. Um, so the final step for treating it is I take a little bit of this uh, spray wax and just put it on a cotton round here, just a teeny, teeny little bit. 
and just give that, well, let's get this a little drier. <laughs> just give it a nice coating on that, just very gently. The spray, or this uh, spray wax is pretty forgiving. It's not like true car wax, whereas, you know, it, it can cake up around things. So this is nice. As far as that goes, give it a nice little squirt of sprayer here. Dry it off a little bit. And then we'll take a clean pad and just give it a little polish. Um, the spray wax is nice. You can, it, it is just, a, it makes everything nice and smooth. Um, and it gives it just a nice, a nice little polish to the whole thing. When the faders up and down, they feel amazing. Um, so now that that's done, we'll just go over everything one last time with some contact cleaner, spraying it into the brush, and get all of these connectors, all of these cables. Like there's a lot of dirt and funkiness in here. Contact cleaner is mostly a modality of, of just being able to spray some type of liquid on this board just to release some of the dirt. Um, if you've watched any of the other videos, you know, it'll it'll pull off labels and things like that. So you don't want it to be too, too wet, but it is a nice way of just lifting a lot of this dirt off of the uh, PCB. And then usually I'll just give this a little, get these connectors in here. Make sure everything's good. Give those a little blowout. We're good to go. And that is how you clean the Ox Master modules. Okay, so we've got our aux modules in now. So the console is really starting to come together. So tomorrow, let's see if we can get our groups done and then we'll have the whole master section done. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everybody has a great day.